in this demonstration we're going to program this part with angles using the Prototrack SMX control. We're going to let the SMX figure out all of the hard stuff for us. It's going to do uh, practically all of the math on its own. So we'll say here, program, go to begin, profile, irregular profile. Let's begin here at zero, zero and go clockwise around the part so that we're climb cutting and our comp is left. Cutter comp is left. Offset left, number two. Finish cut, roughing RPM, finishing RPM, roughing feed, finishing feed, and tool number. So we have a point here. We're going to this theoretical intersection point, uh, which is at 2 inches 750. So a mill move to 2 inches 750 and Y0. And at the end of this, we have a radius that's common. There's, you can see there's a half inch radius here, here, and here. So we'll put a half inch radius. Now stop. Don't do anything more. You're done. A uh, common mistake people do is a, in AGE, uh, which means Auto Geometry Engine. When they try to use the AGE programming, they want to fill in every possible thing they can. With AGE, less is more. That's the fourth rule of AGE. Less is more. As soon as you get what you need, hit page forward and move on. So now we're going from this theoretical intersection point to this theoretical in intersection point. What tangent here at the top means, it means is event three, which is a mill move, tangent to event two, which is a mill move. Well, no two mill moves can be tangent. Never mind the Conrad in here. The Conrad is not an event. What tangent means is event is this event that you're doing tangent to the one you just did. Well, that's mill, mill. Mill moves cannot be tangent. We do know the X ending point is at four inches five six six six. The Y we don't know. Uh, we do so we're going to just data forward past it. Rule number three: when you have one endpoint and an angle, which we have, we have the one endpoint and the angle. Rule number three is you don't need the other one. So we're going to put a half inch radius at the end of this line, and we'll go to the bottom. And we'll put in our uh, 360 minus 44 is 316 degree angle. And if we have a look at that, it looks pretty good. Now we have a mill move from here to here. Well, this point right here, if we just look over here, we see this is a 45 degree angle. And one leg is 1 inch 7, 6, 7, 8, which means the other leg is exactly the same. 1 inch 7, 6, 7, 8 plus 1 inch 8, 7, 5, 7. So if we put those two together, we'll do a mill move, non-tangent, because event 4 is not tangent to event 3. It's a mill, mill. The X endpoint is going to be this 1 inch 7, 6, 7, 8 plus the 1 inch 87, 57. So it's going to be plus three inches, uh, six, four, three, five. And the Y is going to be, well, we really don't need the Y because we're going to come off of here at a, at, at a different angle. Now we could do the math on these two, uh, the one, one and an eighth and one inch, seven, six, seven, eight. Or we could just use the angle to give it to us. There's no Conrad at the end of this thing. So we'll just go straight to the bottom. Uh, we'll take this 180 degrees, so 0, 90, 180, uh, 270. So 180 plus 52 degrees is 316. I'm sorry, 232. Looks pretty good. Now we'll do a mill move. Again, mill, mill, non-tangent. X is going minus 1.87. 5, 7, that's this dimension right here, going from this point to this point. This is incremental, so push your ink set button. Y is not moving, so push your ink set button again. And there is a Conrad at the end of that of a half inch. Hit page forward. Now we're going to mill from here up to here. 
non-tangent, mil mil is event six, tangent to event five, no. X ends at zero, Y ends at minus 1.125, and there's no Conrad, so we'll hit page forward, press our look key, and now we want to mill finally from here back to where we came. Non-tangent, mill mill, back to zero, zero, and we're done. So hit page forward and end it. Let's put our holes in. Position drill, the X dimension is half inch. The Y dimension is minus one inch, 130. RPM and tool number two. So you notice here, the print is telling us we have a pattern. So these three holes are a pattern and they're uh, 350 over and 350 down. So we'll say, <laughs> copy and repeat number eight. Uh, the X offset would be 350. The Y offset would be minus 350. Uh, two repeats. That wasn't so bad. And now we want to do this little rectangular pocket. So we know one corner is at 1.6, so we'll say here pocket, rectangular pocket, uh, 1.6, and Y is at minus 102. The length of the pocket is an inch 320, and that's an incremental number. And the Y is minus one inch, also incremental. Conrad in the corner, quarter inch, Direction of cut, counterclockwise, 10 thousandths finish cut, uh, 2,500 RPM to rough, 32 to finish, oops, um, roughing feed rate, finishing feed rate, and tool number. And we're done.